Today I'm going to show you how to set up a new irrigation watering system in a greenhouse. First of all, I'm going to show you how to install the batteries. Remove the five screws from the back of the box. When all the screws are out, take the back lid off the box. Take care to turn it around this way so as not to stretch its wire. Then, then insert the batteries according to the diagram in the box. Before replacing the lid, ensure that the wires are routed around the back of the control circuit so that when the lid's put on, no wires are trapped. Then replace and tighten the screws. As we're fitting this inside a greenhouse today, the first thing to do is decide where you're going to put your pump. I've set it up to water these 12 tomato plants. I've decided I'm going to put it in this position because this is a nice south facing position. The and outlets of the pump are marked on the case. I'm going to connect the pipe to the tomato plant to the outlet connection. Push it gently into place. When you can feel the connector on the pump resisting, then push and you should be able to see the tube go in a little bit further. And I'll connect the length of the tube, which is long enough to go back to the water pipe. Insects living inside your pump unit, make sure that this cap is in place. Now secure the pump in position using whatever means you have available. Here is the filter attached to the end of the tube. Make sure it's no more than 20 meters from here back to the pump. And also make sure that when you put the tube in the barrel, the filter hangs at least 10 centimeters above the bottom. This into the water butt, making sure that you don't put too much tube in so that it sits right on the bottom. Now that everything's connected up and the pump's in position, remove the film from the solar panel. I'm now going to turn the unit on. I'm turning it on to maximum. When it's on, the flashing light should start to go. And then in three hours time, if there's plenty of sunshine, the pump should come on. I'll come back tomorrow and see whether the pump unit's watering too much. And if it is, I can turn it down one notch at a time until it's watering the right amount. Stop me now.